Do you know what low fat milk does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having 300 ml of Nestle Slim Milk. And that's because Amul's Slim and Trim Milk, which a lot of you were requesting, was not available on Blinkit. But the good news is that both of them have the same amount of fat levels in them. Only 0.2%, which is practically zero. This glass only has 100 calories. Let's see what happens. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 13 mg increase. While this is a good result, it is almost double as compared to when I had toned milk with 3% fat because that had increased my blood sugar levels by 7 mg. This is 13. Imagine, the low fat milk had similar amounts of proteins and carbs, but because it barely had any fat in it, only 0.2%, the spike was higher. Actually, fats are very important in keeping the blood sugar spike low. Because if you remember, when I had one glass of thandai in the summer drink series, my blood sugar levels had only increased by 7 mg. Almost half of this. And this is despite the fact that thandai had two added teaspoons of sugar in it. But because it was made with 3% fat milk, and because it had additional proteins and fats from dry fruits, the overall spike was still low. From what I'm seeing, the main benefit of skim milk or low fat milk is basically lower calories. Because one 300 ml glass of low fat milk was only 100 calories, compared to the same glass with toned milk which had 175 calories, much higher. So between low fat milk and 3% fat milk, it's the devil's choice. Lower calories versus lower sugar spike. 